for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a historian. I study black people during the era of slavery. I'm a black women's historian. I study black women. And the violence that I was reading about in the archives and the violence that was unfolding on my computer screen and in the t on the TV screen was too much. And I shut down. And then I got a phone call asking me to come speak. These wonderful students from Bloomington North High School asked me, Dr. Myers, can you come speak about what is happening in the nation? And I said, sure. And then here I am again now. Although now it's not Philando and Alton and the Pulse nightclub. It's Ahmaud Arbery. And it's George Floyd. And lest, us, lest we forget, it is Breonna Taylor, whose birthday it is today. And I have a weight on my heart because, ladies and gentlemen, it is also my birthday today. And I woke up this morning and I grieved. I grieved for the fact that she was not here. And I'm standing here. She's not. She's not. And here we are again. And people keep asking me, how do you feel? I'm like, really? That is not an appropriate question. I am exhausted on so many levels. And every morning I wake up and the first thing I do is I check in with the people that I love to make sure that they're still alive. This has become an all too familiar cycle of death. Death, prayer, tears, rinse, repeat. I don't wanna be back here in another two years or four years saying the same things. If there's no struggle, there's no progress. Those who profess to favor freedom and yet deprecate agitation are like me, and I say people who want crops without plowing up the ground. They want the rain without the lightning and the thunder. They want the ocean without the roar of its many waters. Lakes and Hughes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Talk to me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's been a wonderful day. Yes, sir. It's almost over. I'm the final speaker. And I have a message for you. I have a message for you. I want your undivided attention. You have marched and you're feeling good about yourselves. But a march is not a movement. A march is not a movement. And so I want to invite you personally, individually, and collectively to join the movement yeah. that I joined when I was 14 years old, which was 60 years ago. I thought, I thought we'd been a different place by now. But I'm sad to say that we're not. In fact, we have gone backward. While we've been playing with our little iPhones, and our little Twitter accounts, and our little Instagram accounts, our little Facebook, our little LinkedIn, and we call it progress. While black people and poor people are dying daily, they just aren't being recorded on your little cell phone. So I'm going to be very brief, and I wrote down what I wanted to say to you so you will leave here unmistakably clear about what you need to do. Number one, if you're a student at some university, whether it's IU or someplace else, get your degree and use it to change the injustices in this country, indeed in this world. That's number one. Number two, there are people who tell you to vote. And I say vote too, 
but you make damn sure you're an educated voter. The only thing that's worth, worse than a non-voter is an uneducated voter. So what do I want you to educate yourself on? I want you to educate yourselves on the issues, the true issues, and don't get caught up in the sound bites that you see on television that they pay millions of dollars for. Make sure you understand the issues that belie communities, counties, states, and this nation. And you vote for people who can represent. That's the interest of resolving those issues. So be an educated voter. Number three, there are people who say, register people to vote. Hell, I don't want you to register to vote, I want you to vote. I want you to vote. And I want you to take someone and help them get registered to vote. And then once they register to vote, make sure they are educated and know how to vote. And I don't mean just pulling the lever. That's not what I'm talking about. And then you put them on your moped. You put them in your little fancy car, on the back of your motorcycle, your bicycle, and take them to the polls to vote. Fourth, what I want you to do is, now that you voted and you've elected people who can represent the interests and the will of the people, you need to hold people accountable. That's what the movement is about. Councilman Sims said he's willing to be held accountable. And you know what? Don't tell me that we can't hold people account accountable. We have to have the will to do so. And so my question is, do you have the will? Do you have a commitment? to join a movement that won't be over at the end of your freshman year, your sophomore year, your junior year, or your senior year. It's a movement that's gonna last a long time. I've been here three quarters of a century. And what I want you to do is to join the movement. And I don't want to see you as a passive participant in the movement. We need you to be active in the movement. And if you're not prepared to do that, then just shut up. Yes, shut up. Yes, shut up. Yes. And then the final thing, the final thing I need you to do is, I need to have you unbundle these issues called diversity, yes. inclusion, multiculturalism, and equity. Yes. And you make damn sure that you are committed to equity. Diversity should be valued. Inclusivity should be valued. But don't be mistaken into believing that if you have diversity and inclusion, you have equity. And if you have any confusion about that, see me at the end of this conversation. Join the movement. Join the movement. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise Skies, let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us facing the rising sun of a new day begun let us march on till victory is won. 
more time. Let us march on till victory is won. All right, I need to wake up the ancestors. I need to wake up the ancestors. I need to wake up our ancestors so we can fight this fight together because we're going to